neutrinos are everywhere. From deep space to the sun, earth, and even our bodies. Scientists believe that they may hold the key to unlocking the secrets of the universe or challenge the laws of physics as we know them. And in southern China, a huge neutrino lab is taking shape under the ground to study these fascinating particles. Juno is operated by the Institute of High Energy Physics under the Chinese Academy of Sciences. Reactor neutrinos for Juno to detect and measure will be provided by the Young Zhang and Taishan nuclear power plants, which are both just over 50 kilometers away. Scientists are excited to learn more about the particles, such as the mass of different types of neutrinos. A huge cave, some 700 meters under the ground, has been turned into a water pool. Inside is the core of the Juno, a 13-story tall spherical detector, which will be covered by 20,000 20-inch light detecting photomultiplier tubes and filled with 20,000 tons of specially formulated liquid. The spherical detector will be supported by a spherical stainless steel grid when built. A steel elevating platform has been made in the water pool so that an acrylic sphere can be constructed inside the steel grid, layer by layer from top to bottom. The photomultiplier tubes and other parts will also be mounted to the steel grid simultaneously. When finished, the acrylic sphere will be filled with a liquid scintillator and the water pool will cover the whole detector to protect it from the natural radioactivity of the surrounding rocks. When neutrinos go through the detector, a very small part of them will interact with the liquid scintillator, producing scintillation light, detected by the photomultiplier tubes as neutrino signals for further calculation and study. Besides neutrinos from nuclear reactors, Juno can also study neutrinos from supernova, the Sun, Earth, and our atmosphere.